Okay, guys. Leave your comments. <clears throat> but first, I must say, hello, my fellow YouTubers. This is Roy back again. Smells like some ozone in here. Smells like some ozone. What about it? Break or break or one nine. All right, looking coming together. Got one PMH. The other PMH. Both got grounds. Got the oscillator. And also working on the figure eight configuration. We're gonna have like Ed does in Coral Castle. He has a, a bottle with iron wire. We're gonna wrap it with iron wire. And with the iron wire, um, we're going to be able to uh, increase the magnetism by a hundredfold versus copper. So I'm going to build a flange on top of this. And we're going to have two bottles side by side. The centers of these bottles will be connected together. And these will become a scalar wave as well as the two bottles that'll be over here simultaneously starting from the process of when the wheel turns by it creates electromagnetism electromagnetism is being banged at each other on the two pmhs and they will create a scalar wave on both of those Morpheus coils that we're going to build and then we're going to use these as antennas you're saying to yourself holy crap Roy what are you thinking here these are going to be two by filer you heard me loud and clear by filer by filer and set these up where the outside ends are connected together and in between them will be your coral rock and the proof will be in the pudding by filer hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, my little testable experiment I enjoyed because nothing better than smelling some beautiful ozone Plus, on top of that, having 400,000 volts banging my fingers simultaneously at a good frequency of probably about AM band, about, um, about 900 kilohertz, 1,000 kilohertz in that ball range. Anyway, leave your comments. Love it, love it, love it. And this is not, this is still pre- going to teach you guys one how to make the bifiler coils using simple cardboard okay and how to make them how to wind them and then also on the first part of the circuitry on the ground we're gonna put grounding rods still on the ground get these anchored into the ground these glass bottles will act as a strong uh, electromagnetic pulse. And um, this PMH here is when the south is heading towards this. These are, these are going to get rewound. And we'll go through that as well in the video, video series. These will be 1,500 turns each of 16-gauge wire wound oppositely from each other. So if you were to take the start and put the two starts together and put the two negatives together and touch them with a positive and a negative, on the very end, you will get a pole and a pole, naturally. So they'll fall back to that naturally when you let go of the, um, uh, when you disconnect from the 12 volt battery. They'll naturally be at the same pole. If they were wound differently, then they would be opposing. And so naturally they wouldn't, when it's unconnected, 
when it's not connected, it wouldn't naturally be positive and negative. You can check that with, with the compass. With that being said, when this pole is hitting this pole, these are two are going to be connected to the two condensers up top. The condensers are going to treat like a um, like a Wimshurst machine, where you have two capacitors, and the two inside ends are or outside ends are connected together. It doesn't really matter, and the two other ends are forced to separate the charge and create two opposite poles. Now, when these two opposite poles in conjunction with the dielectric um, begin to pulsate, there will be a, the way these will be wound, be like a figure eight. Okay, so it'd be like a figure eight going around, 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 around. On those coils, Ed also has a uh, make and break contact that is only connected sort of like a reed switch he built his own reed switches so uh, i'll show you videos in in the series uh, i'm printing out a bunch of videos no a bunch of um uh, pictures that i took down in coral castle in my 12 to 15 visits i went down there so i got different pictures of bottles and what they were attached to still and all that and i'm going to show you guys describe talk it over and go in through the process as we build to teach you how to build this. And I think it'll get simpler because I don't believe you need Ed's wheel. You just need the starting process, but this is what Ed had. And this is very barbaric, but it's good because it'll at least show us that these scalar waves are to a basic physicist or electrical engineer or electrical person, they cancel each other out. So the word cancel just is the perfect word if you want to hide something, all right? I'll just leave it at that. It's the perfect word to say to hide something. All right, guys, well, leave your comments. Um, uh, so the process will start soon. I got a couple more videos to post to you, or pre, and I'll post this as a pre. Um, these will be fully recharged again. Uh, we're going to be... Um, Surprisingly, adding water into the center in the neutral area, it'll have water. And uh, also, uh, it'll be salt water. <laughs> and on top of that, um, the bottom of each one of these grounding rods will go in six feet, but down below, I have a creek. And what we're going to do is tie a feed off each one of these. And we're going to stick the wire in the creek. We're going to bring a little Wilhelm Reich in here. And anybody um, ever heard of Wilhelm Reich, the Oregon accumulator, so forth, so forth. Um, a lot to look into. So uh, at least Gallon did have his well. The well was uh, water flowing. It was probably about six, seven feet down the ground, maybe eight. By the time you get to the bottom of the steps, it was very alkaline. And uh, when you have alkaline water, it's a negative charge. To really get everything in nature uh, going, it needs a negative charge, charge, not a positive charge. So when you get into negative charge, you get into the pH of things. And the pH of things is coral rock. Um, which is very, it's calcium, so it's high in pH uh, by nature. And it that means it has a lot of oxygen in here. And uh, you're in the pH, you're dealing with, um, you know, uh, CO2, or you're dealing with O2. And um, having a negative charge is where it all counts. It's sort of the vacuum having that um, negative charge. And we'll get into vacuum, but we're not gonna get into it right now. I don't wanna get you guys too excited, but we'll get into vacuum, but that's your negative charge. And then we're gonna get into positive charge where negative and positive have their own particular uh, position of moving stuff. So we're gonna go how everything is moving around 
all this stuff that I'm bringing to you guys. Guys, have a great night. Peace out. Esley Scallon, supercharged Roy in the house with my Tesla. How to get my little Tesla tonight. How to defunct the Corona in me today. Bam. Peace out. Leave your comments.